let's go, 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 let's go. Hey, 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 hey. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of the show we out here man we out here we out here out there out everywhere we got some major news topics to go over today for you beautiful people um now a couple of announcements couple of announcements all right now maybe some of you guys haven't seen my review my live review of the Series X headset around my neck. You see it right here. And S headset. Go check it out. Um, I had a blast with that headset last night. I was like, you know what? Yeah. Microsoft did a great job. You know what I'm saying? With the, with the headset and everything. And when it comes to sound, like I said before, you can adjust. You can mess with the EQ and everything like that to get it sound better. But I was messing around with it again. And like I said, it sounds really, really good. But it's just something about that PlayStation 5 headset. There's something about that 3D audio. So if you miss that particular review, go check it out, man. I highly recommend the series x and s headphone highly recommended um there's a link check out the review if you haven't checked it out but man oh man sounds really 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 good you know what i'm saying and um i know they're like really really hard to find but let me just show you guys real quickly um you guys seen it right you guys seen what it looks like i mean it's very very comfortable i i love it i love it and when you put them on like I said before, it does a very, very good job of sealing out the noise around you. Like when you put them on, you can barely hear yourself. So I think, you know, Microsoft did a great job with that and everything. So please, 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 if you can buy one, I know it's sold out everywhere. Make sure go and get you one because it's definitely, definitely worth it. All right. So let me know y'all thoughts on that. Okay. Twitch. We will be on Twitch today at five all right so as soon as we wrap up this show we'll be over there around say about 5 15 or so um we're having a great time out on twitch so if people really want to follow out on twitch and everything highly recommend go over there sub them twitch boys been showing a lot man we have, we've been having so much freaking fun on twitch man it's freaking crazy i don't know twitch is just a, like a whole different vibe from youtube you know what i'm saying like i've been on youtube literally all my life i've been on youtube since i was like 18 years old you know what i'm saying and now i'm like in my 30s you know what i'm saying like so you can just know that i've been on youtube since almost day one i've been on youtube and when we let me tell you something man like twitch a lot of fun, a lot of fun, a lot of fun, a <laughs> lot of fun. So we're going to have a blast today on Twitch. So if you guys want to make sure you guys go follow, follow your boy, go subscribe, all of that type of stuff. Um, I'm going to put the link to the Twitch right here. So if you want to follow, you want to subscribe to our Twitch, um, go ahead, help us out, man. We're building a great community over there. All right. So with that being said, let's go ahead. Now that we got all the news and stuff. Oh, another thing really wanted to bring to you guys attention uh make sure make sure you're utilizing our um streaming gear so if you really want to know what kind of mic i use what kind of camera i use and all of that type of stuff make sure make sure wait what, what, what kind of what kind of stuff is this they giving us right now who is that oh somebody just followed me on twitch let's go somebody just followed me on twitch let's go hey let's go dang i didn't realize <laughs> we got our twitch we got our twitch thing popping off so that's pretty good that's really really nice that's really really nice let's go man we out here let's go let's get it popping all right so um yeah ma make sure you guys utilize the link in the description um it has a list it has a bunch of links to everything that i use in my streams from my monitors to my microphone to my camera to my pc build the, P the pc that i actually built like literally like what almost two months ago so 
if you want all that information link will be down in the description as well for all of that really really awesome stuff all right so let's get some tactical nuke let's get some hype going hopefully you awesome people you beautiful people are doing okay and everything let's go ahead and let's get some tactical nuke thank you guys so much for the follow out on twitch man you guys are literally amazing we're building an awesome community over there on twitch let's go for them twitch boys baby we we hype man we hype we out here make sure you go over there subscribe and everything i have some exclusive stuff for for twitch subs hey man it's gonna be lit it's definitely gonna be lit okay so let's go ahead and summarize some of these topics that we're gonna be going over thank you guys so much for the follow man i appreciate it all right so we're gonna talk about our first topic here we're just gonna summarize it then we'll get with the shout outs then we're gonna dive right off into it sony is giving away free playstation 5 games okay obviously these ps5 games obviously can work on ps4 so ps5 slash ps4 um and so this is really really good for playstation 5 players for a lot of people who don't have a ps4 anymore because i know a lot of people trade in their ps4 and they don't they don't have a ps4 anymore you know what i'm saying like they they gave away their ps4 but me personally i ain't giving away my ps4 my ps4 is right here bruh hey bit thank you so much for the follow man listen thank y'all for the follow thank y'all for the support when y'all go over there show your boy some love man make sure y'all hit that subscribe button as well sub up your boy tier one tier two tier three and i think you can do it with prime as well so shots to you boys man we're also going to be taking a look at the new returnal playstation 5 story trailer as well okay we're also going to be talking about yoshida that yoshida um from sony but yoshida from final fantasy you know what i'm saying the big man himself behind final fantasy 16 um he's talking about the playstation 5 hardware which yeah you don't want to miss out on that okay uh we're also going to be talking about starfield release in 2021 man hold up man listen if this is true I'll be very, very excited considering everything that's been actually popping off and been going off right now. You know what I'm saying? That that's pretty good. So I'm excited about that. Um, now, apparently it's 90% ready. You know what I'm saying? Which is good. I mean, so if it's 90% ready, then that means you can use the other 10% of time to actually polish and, and, you know, do what you need to do and everything like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, we're also going to be talking about whoa 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 crystal dynamics okay which is a tomb raider developer they're actually going to be um hiring for a new triple a game so we don't necessarily know what this triple a game is going to be hey judah with the new subscription let's go man we out here listen we're on a path right now we're trying to get to listen 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 to me we're trying to get to twitch partner we're a twitch affiliate partner right now we're trying to get to that 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 big status you feel me and we only can go we only gonna get there if y'all support your boy we're trying to get to that twitch partner status so i think you need like 75 congruent viewers i think we we were pushing about 100 viewers yesterday on twitch man i'm telling you them twitch boys it's a whole it's a whole different vibe son it's a whole different vibe i'm telling you it's 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 crazy you know what i'm saying it's crazy i just i love this the twitch the twitch love and the twitch spirit it's on and popping we're also going to be talking about the ps5 dual sense controller as well all right so we, we're hearing some really really good stuff about the controller and i think it's going to really spark a little bit of conversation amongst you guys so raise your hand for me one time a new ps5 post-apocalypse horror title anytime i hear about horror i get excited considering because of this little guy right here this guy right here you know what i'm saying this guy right here this is the guy right here that gets me really 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 excited and everything and bruh let's go man it's not perfect but anytime i hear anything about horror it makes you wonder how the controller is going to be and how the 3d audio in the ps5 is going to be as well so we'll talk about that particular title it actually looks pretty good because it's a pc only title it's not even it don't even have a release date right now but i guarantee you guys would love this game seriously like me and my girl we actually looked at it she was actually hype and everything 
it look it looks it looks really really good um so we're gonna talk about that also dlss support update man y'all gonna be shocked with with how much more fps you're gonna be getting so with unreal engine 4 integration with dlss it's gonna be some insane performances that you guys are going to see today right here on the show we're also gonna be talking about that square enix direct that's happening tomorrow just to kind of give you guys a little bit of refresher and everything like that don't worry suffolk i'm gonna give you guys um a little bit of shout out and everything like that make sure you guys smash up that like button hit that share button get us trending guys get us trending retweet us we out on twitter as well marlon gaming nation everything is marlon gaming nation twitch is marlon gaming nation youtube marlon gaming nation twitter marlon gaming nation let's go man lit we out here all right so smash up that like button um we're also gonna be talking about spider-man miles morales crushing it right now you know what i'm saying i mean it ain't just nintendo killing it listen listen sony right now with the ps5 um you know they're trying to you know basically keep the ps5 in stock as much as possible and people just buying the ps5s like crazy i mean as soon as they get in stock bro they're 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 gone you know what i'm saying so there's a good sales surge right now going on with the ps5 and the ps5 launch ips are doing extremely well even though they're actually on ps4 they're still doing pretty pretty good and everything twitch let's go man and oh and, and it's a great time listen xbox great great time right now in tomorrow's stream i'm gonna have something special like a special topic that we're gonna be talking about and i think everybody should be chiming in and everything like that because i think it's gonna be lit it's gonna be very very exciting times okay so do me a favor right now tag me at marlin gaming nation shout outs to all the people that are following out on twitch man make sure you guys go over there y'all subscribe y'all show your boys some love over there we're trying to get to that twitch partner man so let's get it popping all right so let's tag me at marlin gaming nation we're gonna go ahead we're gonna get with the shout outs and then we're gonna dive right off into the news because we do have some stuff to do listen i i'm working overtime for you guys i gotta work my regular job which is right here on youtube for almost three hours then i gotta go back and work for another two more maybe three more hours on twitch like listen my job is not easy y'all you know what i'm saying my job is not easy so listen i appreciate all the support you guys been giving me i've been busting my butt i've been grinding you know what i'm saying then i turned back though and gave y'all a review of the xbox headset yesterday dang i was tired um this morning i was so freaking tired i, I almost slept in man really really freaking tired so i love y'all though y'all worth it all right um nighthawk what's going down yes yes the avenger um game should be in there everything square enix should be in there so i'll be streaming the square enix direct for you guys tomorrow um richard so tag me at marlon gaming nation let's get with the shout outs man let's get hype let's go let's go let's get y'all one time man let's get y'all one time let's get y'all one time let's get y'all one time baby let's go aaron what's going on man hey let's go jackie what's going on man steel coast what's going on appreciate y'all man hey jason children's gaming channel thank you so much for the 99 cent man appreciate the love and the support god bless your store basket i know some of y'all got y'all stimulus check so some of y'all be balling um best uh best gaming 360 what's going on smash up that like button y'all let's show some love man maurice art what's going on boss with them headphones real talk man them headphones are fire bro i ain't gonna lie to you uh xbox did a great job with them headphones wheezy what's going on y'all um a boost a boost mad uh if i'm saying your name correctly vx volt darkness sean jazz gaming my boy jose let's go my guy loan to wonder what's going on i haven't seen you in a while shout out to all my sponsors on youtube man shout out to y'all man thank y'all for the support y'all what keeps the show going man um ng the gamer says i watched the twitch stream yesterday hey leo what's going on man appreciate you jermaine mac bound what's going on my guy um let's see richard farmer what's going on wildlife sleepy kang ps5 is king drizzy um skillful uh ramon what's going on keegan moore uh jackie what's going on morsetti what's got what's up what's up um space tj robinson dallas uh let's see who else we got Revu! let's go 
Isaacos. What's up, man? How you doing? Well, how you doing? Jason, let's go, man. Thank you for the support, my guy. I appreciate you. Jason, that makes you the top stream donator with that 99 cent. I don't think nobody can beat that 99 cent today. You the top stream donator, Jason. So big up yourself, man. Appreciate it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. AM21, like, no, sir. I'm the top stream. I'm the top stream donator for today with that five dollars. Is good job. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate that. Um, chef, what's going on? J Luck, let me go ahead and get you a tactical nuke, my guy. Appreciate that. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's see here. TJ Robinson, what's up, man? How you doing? Appreciate that. Nighthawk after burner. Hey man, we fire up. We lit right now. Let's go, man. Thank you so much, AM21. AM21. That makes you the top stream donator. I don't think nobody can top your $5, all right? Appreciate that, man. God bless. Everybody getting a stimulus today in their Wells Fargo account. Bola, what's going on? Appreciate the love and the support. Hey, uh, Stole Vals. Appreciate you, my guy. How you doing? True Green 21. How you feeling? How you doing? Appreciate the love and the support. Thank you so much. JR Sawyer. Hey, the homie Suffolk. What's going down? Appreciate that, man. My broke. If I'm saying my broke, if I say your name correctly. Um, uh, uh, Xbox hype train. Let's go, baby. Lee Fitness. What's going on, man? We out here. Jim. Hey, let's go. Um... What, let's see who else what man this beat made me want to freestyle though i ain't gonna lie to you um anthony moon what's going on man how you feeling george what's up my guy Let, hey straight from the va what's going on man let's go let's go we out here we out here we lit make sure he said um you kind of pronounce it okay okay hey i appreciate that love man i appreciate that love frank what's go uh oh ronnie Top stream donator for today with that ten dollar donation. Hey Ronnie, I don't think nobody can top you, bro. My my the homie, the homie, the homie. Let's go, Ronnie Shelton with the ten dollar. Hey, I don't think nobody can top that ten dollar donation. I don't think they done. They ain't nobody can top that ten dollar, bro. They 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 ain't gonna do it. Appreciate that ten dollars, man. Um, Nero, let's go, man. Let's go big mace 2006 um let's see hey xbox xbox is the best box right now i ain't gonna lie to you i man xbox is xbox is pushing it right now man um jackie what's going on um let's see what is it returnal a hey, let's go let's go all right you guys ready we're gonna dive right off into it man we ain't gonna waste no time y'all ready are y'all ready Shout out to all of y'all, man. I appreciate the love and the support. We're going to get right off into the news, man. Hey. Hey, this beat made me, this beat made me get, want to get excited for freestyle, man. <clears throat> let's go. Um, Let's see here. Uh, Rob, oh, what's going on, man? Evelyn, how you doing? Me too, man. I can't wait for that. I can't wait for that, bro. I can't wait for that. I, I literally cannot wait for that. All right, so let's talk about these free games right now. We got to talk about these free games now. I know some people are probably... Oh! Hey, 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 hey. Lee Fitness with the 25, with the 25. It's time to ride. Hey, hey, Lee Fitness, Lee Fitness with the 25. Hey, thank you so much, man appreciate that he says get hype let's go <laughs> let's go man hey lee fitness with that 25 hey listen that makes you the top stream donator you you guys know how we roll man you guys know how we roll man it's all love you know what i'm saying we got to bring the energy up get hype get excited we're in a building right now shout outs to the homie man shout outs to the homie lee with the 25 man that makes you the top stream
<laughs> my man <laughs> my man with the tw- yo with the <laughs> yo what in the world jose with the one oh my god man with the 150 let's go man what hey that's how you know that you listen man my man is like ain't nobody can top me that hey 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 shots to jose man man jose back on the top of the list right now let's go man we get a little bit of tactical nuke man cheese man you guys are going crazy right now son wow man wow wow shots to jose shots to jose the homie let's give him another one for that 150 man listen i appreciate y'all man i appreciate y'all am 21 with the 10 dollar donation y'all are going crazy today bro seriously thank you am 21 for that 10 dollar donation and we got my boy Lee Fitness with that five says, and don't forget to like and share. Ha <laughs> ha. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Seriously. Listen, stole vows. Don't don't worry about that, man. Listen, if you have if you if you have it, bro, you can give. If you don't, it's all good. You know what I'm saying? Listen, ain't no pressure. But whenever you can, you can. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all, man, just for being here, for supporting the show and for making this the premier place. Let's go, man. Let's go, man hey i appreciate y'all man let's go stardust let's go my guy uh, body in the chat right now let's go man my boy what's going on stardust with that ten dollar donation i think you're tied with i think you're tied with am 21 let's go man we out here man we out here god bless y'all man let's go man let's go let's go let's go i appreciate you another one another one god blessing us today another one let's go man kirkland ghost what's up man we out here man we banging out let's go all right y'all ready y'all ready for the news man bro uh stoval says you are you are amazing though bro i try man i i try to be amazing you know what i'm saying i like i usually look at myself as like you know i'm just me you know what i'm saying but hey people love what they love so people can't stop it you feel me so we're gonna go ahead man and we're gonna hit y'all with the news man free ps5 games slash ps4 okay because hey if it's on ps4 then it's gonna be playable on ps5 ps4 ps5 whatever the case may be get hype get excited i mean this is the situation that we're actually dealing with right now so let's go ahead and let's dive right off into this man this is how we doing it this is how we literally doing it we breaking the boundaries right now so let's go respect to xbox man most definitely respect to xbox they're doing great things right now all right so with that being said let's go ahead guys and let's bleed over into our conversation here for today and this has to do with sony with their play at home program basically expands with 10 more free games for the next week okay and obviously i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the article ain't no funny business we're gonna show you guys the actual article here so just like it's, it's kind of crazy it's like sony firing back at microsoft because yesterday microsoft announced what was it like 10 games or 12 games or something like that and i was like dang like you know microsoft is on the roll now sony coming out here be like uh-uh we got to show y'all what's up too as well so it says sony has announced on the playstation blog that its play at home initiative will expand with 10 more games offer for free to all ps4 and ps5 players to keep and own so you're going to be able to keep and own now from march 25th players can download a zoop if i'm saying that correctly enter the gungeon and rez infinite subnautica the 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 well the witness i'm sorry astrobot rescue mission moz tumper and paper beast now this is this might not be games that you guys probably want but hey it's free free is free right 
And then on April 19th, Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition will be free for all players. All right. So that's pretty good. And then they already added Ratchet and Clank 2016. So I think these are two games that you guys need to be playing. Ratchet and Clank, you know what I'm saying? 2016 and Horizon Zero um, Dawn, their Complete Edition. Because here's the thing. They, I guess they want to refresh your memory and everything like that on what you know like 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 on horizon zero dawn maybe some people haven't beat the game yet and they want to get you up to speed before the actual game comes out and of course we have ratchet and clank which comes out i think is in june so they're trying to get people up to speed so they're offering 10 um you know free games and everything like that to download for you know i'm saying for the ps5 and for ps4 so let me know y'all thoughts man um in the comments section about that particular situation like i said before Sony just trying to find a way, I'm guessing, to just say, you know what? Hey, Microsoft, Microsoft giving away games left and right. Let's let's do some giveaways. It might not be games that people are literally hyped for or anything like that. Jackie, no, I didn't see your dono. I'm over here running my mouth. Uh, Jackie, 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 Jackie. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, Jackie with the 50. Let's go. Jackie, thank you so much, man i appreciate that it didn't update on here yet it did not update on here yet i don't know what's going on with with stream labs i think they're on just they're cracking out today um thank you so much thank you so much jackie for the 50 it didn't show up on here it's just showing stardust right now i think stream labs need to get their act together they they just been they just been bugging out but seriously though thank you so much jackie god bless you as a sponsor i appreciate it man i'm telling you I'm telling you, you know where them stimulus checks drop, man. You already know. Let's go, man. Spending it with your boy. I appreciate y'all. Jackie, one love and God bless. I appreciate that. Best dope ass. What's going on? Let's go, baby. We out here. All right. Listen, we got a PlayStation 5 exclusive, okay? That's coming out at the end of April. And I know a, a lot of people right now is giving you know sony a hard time shots to jackie once again thank you so much jackie i appreciate you thank you um you know they're giving sony a hard time right now because they're saying that that game is not worth 70 dollars and sony's not doing enough marketing and everything like that which is which is kind of crazy yeah i'm probably gonna have to work on Streamlabs. i don't know what's going on with them but returnal i'm gonna say this right now i'm pretty excited about this game i like the rogue type you know what i'm saying type um style of the game and everything like that and i think some people some people are saying that it's not worth you know what i'm saying the price tag of 70 dollars. i mean hey it is what it is at the end of the day hopefully i don't know when it drops in price or whatever the case may be then people might be able to pick it up so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take a look at a new story trailer and the most bizarre thing about returnal is that it will utilize obviously the ps5 ssd super fast ssd it will utilize the ram and the dual sense uh control it in very very unique ways and the special thing about it is third person but there's also a first person aspect of the game and we learned that because of the last state of play that we just recently got um in february and so listen i'm 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 hyped i'm excited and cannot wait to play this game on april uh 30th so they did drop a new trailer um that we're going to take a look at here and i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are going to be hype and excited uh for returnal so let's go ahead and let's take a look at returnal trailer here guys let's go let me go ahead and cut the music for you guys and let me know what you guys think let me know if this game is worth 70 dollars. let me know if this is something that you guys really really want to play all right let's go with it right now here we go returnal baby let's get it Astra, is anyone captured on PS5? It's Celine. House Mark, Sony buy him. I've crashed on Atropos. New PS5 exclusive. I'm getting a Metroid Prime feel from that. I was getting a Metroid Prime feel from that. It just it feels like Metroid now that I'm looking at it. I'm getting a Metroid type feel. A deceased Astro Scout here. Checking identification on a helmet. It's. Oh my god. My side Wow. Continuing towards the signal's origin. Let me know what y'all think. Woo! 
I'm getting a Lost Planet and a Metroid type feel. It's like more of like it's Rogue mix, mix, mixed with like Metroid mixed with Lost Planet. Remember that game that Capcom made called Lost Planet? I'm getting a sort of a Lost Planet type feel from this joint. Thank you, Gundam, for following, man. Appreciate it. First person. This is the first person right here. I love this. I love this, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, this game is going to be good, man. Woo. Make sure y'all pre-order this game. $70, though. Let me know if you... you look, look at her fingers. Wow. There we go. What do you guys think about Returnal? What do you guys think about Returnal? Is it worth $70? That's the million dollar question that I want to ask you guys is, is it worth $70? Are you guys willing to pay $70 for Returnal? Um, it looks pretty good. Like I said, I'm getting, um, I'm getting a whole Metroid type vibe from it. I'm getting a, a Lost Planet uh, type of vibe from it. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting that game, bro. I'm getting that game day one. Streaming it on YouTube. Streaming it on Twitch. We're gonna try to beat that game t twice. You know what I'm saying? Like it looks pretty good, bro. It looks really, really, really good. Um, like I said, I think House Mark. Let me see in the chat right now. How many of you guys think that House Mark should be acquired by Sony? I think, honestly, if the game was fifty dollars, I think a lot of people would be more excited to purchase the game because some people are like they look at it and they're like, uh. But I think House Mark. I think they're doing a great job with this title, and this is one of their biggest titles yet. And I think I think Sony should should really acquire House Mark. And put them under their wings. I, that's just that's just my own opinion on the whole situation. But uh, I, I think I think they're doing a great job with the game, and you know, fully utilizing the PlayStation Five hardware, and you know, everything that the PS Five have to offer, like the Geometry Engine, and of course, the super fast SSD, the Dual Sense controller, and a host of other things. So it's it's definitely on that type of level, and I think that a lot of people could be um, in for a treat with you know um the first person aspect of the game and you know the roguelike appearance of the game as well so like i said house mark and blue point sony should acquire those two studios and put them under their belt i mean we just learned yesterday about a new studio called haven um and i think that's um i think that's smart because it shows that sony really really trusts jade raymond and for a lot of people who don't know who Dr jade raymond is she is heavy in the industry she was responsible for assassin's creed she was over there um with google stadia then she man she was all over the place she was like from studio to studio but she's one of those veteran developers and everything like that so sony really really got to trust her in order to invest money into her studio and her team so whatever this new ps5 ip that they they got going on i'm pretty sure it's going to be dope and i think returnal as well is definitely going to be go and its story seems very very like very good so far from what i'm seeing right now with returnal so we're just going to have to wait and see how actually um the situation turns out all right now Next news story for today. We got to talk about the PlayStation 5 hardware. Yoshida from Final Fantasy 16. Listen, Final Fantasy 16 is going to be that game, you know, because it's going to be exclusive to PS5, obviously, for I think for like a year. And I know a lot of Final Fantasy fans, they really, really cannot wait because they're getting very, very excited. They're getting very pumped right now for Final Fantasy 16 information. And I know, me too as well. I'm, I'm, I'm getting excited. I love Final Fantasy. I think Final Fantasy is one of those franchises that, hey, you grew up as a kid and everything like that, and you really kind of enjoyed it and everything. So let's go ahead and talk about this particular situation here with um, Final Fantasy 16 developer literally just talking about the PlayStation 5 hardware. So let's go ahead and let's dive right off into it here. 
So here is the following information when it comes down to the PlayStation 5 and, you know, Yoshida actually talking about, uh, you know, the, the PS5 hardware and everything like that. Now, it says Yoshida recently spoke ab uh, about that in an interview with PlayStation official magazine, April 20. 21 issue so this is like a new issue of playstation uh, magazine where he discussed the strengths of the playstation 5 hardware it says really as an mmo developer the two big things that really appeal from this hardware is first of all the memory size so he's talking about the memory size of the playstation 5 there is a huge increase in the memory size and also there is much faster loading speeds i think there are also things that players can really imagine would make an impact on the gameplay experience so this is really 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 good i mean just to kind of hear um this actually coming from you know somebody that you know is really behind final fantasy and you know it, it's just it's just really amazing to hear him talk about the playstation 5 hardware and you know talk about the ram because the ram is like you know very very fast and of course the loading speeds as well and so can't really wait to really see and learn more about final fantasy 16 obviously they're on hush hush right now with everything but hey I know some of you guys already pre-ordered the game and everything and can't wait for it. So I'm very, very hyped. And of course, I think there should be like a PS5 open beta for April 13 as well. So there's um, a PS5 open beta for the game on April 13. And that's Final Fantasy, um, you know, 16 and everything. So I know a lot of people are very, very excited about this game for the PlayStation 5. All right. Uh, let's see who we got here. Uh, uh, Fath R98. Um, I'm going to say uh, Fat R98 R um, with the $5. Hopefully, I didn't butcher your name. It says, big fan from NY. I appreciate you when you do think they all start making enough copies of PS5 to start selling um, uh, regular um, in stores. Yeah, honestly, man, they're trying to work on it right now and i think that's one of the craziest things is because people people really want the ps5 you know what i'm saying and i think they're they're doing a great job with you know bumping up production and everything like that so yeah appreciate that bro appreciate that thank you so much uh thank you so much uh father i'm just gonna say father 98 thank you for the five dollars man god bless and why in the building son let's go let's get it popping all right let me see in the chat right now how many of you guys are excited about starfield and i'm hearing mixed i'm hearing mixed bag rumors about um starfield coming to ps5 still because the deal was actually in place and if you i guess if you look it up starfield was slated for playstation 5 anyway and other consoles as well but hey only time will tell how many of you guys are hyped for starfield it says no uh it says so hype about yeah i'm hyped for starfield i think it's one of those games i remember i think this was 2017 e3 if i'm not mistaken i was at bethesda's e3 conference and when they showed off the trailer um you know for starfield and everything like that and i think a lot of people ever since then you know we're very very excited and hype now let's talk about starfield right now because this is a game whether or not it comes to ps5 or not you know I, I think some people will be excited to play this game on xbox you know with game pass and everything like that so let's talk about that starfield right now because yeah the the the, the pot is heating up right now for starfield and i think a lot of people are really expecting sort of a reveal slash gameplay or something like that some somewhere along those lines um really 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 soon here so let's go ahead guys and dive right off into it i'm pretty sure you guys are excited and hyped all right so let's go right into starfield here it says now shout out to jeff grubb because jeff grubb got his ears glued to the industry he knows people in the industry he deals with microsoft he deals with sony and everything like that and pr and all that type of stuff so starfield 90 percent likely to be shown around e3 says insider 2021 launch may happen so 2021 launch may happen uh for starfield and everything like that so 
This is very, very interesting. So on the most recent episode of The Real Deal Podcast, shout out to Dealer, Venture Beat writer, noted um, insider uh, Jeff Grubb claimed an E3 season reveal for Starfield is 90% likely and that the game's release may follow soon after provided the whole CV situation has set development too far back. So hopefully, hopefully, we can see Starfield around E3 because remember, Xbox said that they had a showcase that they had planned for E3. You know what I'm saying? They had something you know planned and everything like that. So I'm pretty excited uh, for E3, and I'm pretty excited for what Microsoft is getting ready to do. Hey, Jason, thank you so much for the 99 cent, my guy. I appreciate the love and the support, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, we out here, man. We definitely out here. Let's get it hype. Let's get it hype, man. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you so much. Um, so like I said before, I am pretty, pretty hype, you know, for Starfield. I'm pretty, pretty hype for the future of Xbox and everything that they they're going to be offering Game Pass subscribers and everything like that. Because truth be told, listen, Outriders is coming directly to Game Pass. So I, listen, I know a lot of people really want to play that game day one and yeah that's gonna increase a lot of subscribers you know what i'm saying for microsoft with game pass so like i said before only time will tell we'll see about starfield i mean we're kind of far away from from summer right now we're, we're like basically in spring so we'll see what happens on that particular front all right now let's go on here with our next topic at hand now this has to do with a tomb raider crystal dynamic situation okay and um I know Crystal Dynamic, they do a very, very good job, at least with Tomb Raider, and they have other titles as well that they have done in the past, but this is going to be interesting because we don't really know what this particular title is all about, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to dive right off into it. Maybe you guys can take a wild guess on what this is or whatever the case may be, but we're going to talk about it right now. All right, so with that being said, Tomb Raider Studio, okay? crystal dynamics is hiring for a new triple a game so i don't know you know what type of game this is going to be it says that the the tomb raider and avengers studio wants a gameplay camera designer for a new triple a game but the game's identity otherwise is completely a mystery so we don't necessarily know what this game is going to be but they're actually hiring right now say that the job listing which was um first spotted by op attack is for gameplay camera designer uh someone who will work on the game design cameras and related gameplay so we don't necessarily know what type of game this is going to be is it going to be time exclusive to ps5 or series x i mean only time will tell but i know crystal dynamic does very very good work and it's interesting because i know that avengers rubs people the wrong way like a lot of people are really really not hype about avengers but hopefully they can revitalize themselves um you know with the ps5 update and from what i've seen so far from that last trailer it didn't really pull me in but we'll see as time progresses all right let's move along here we're going to talk about the playstation 5 dualsense controller here and this this is pretty good because besides the whole drifting problem um, that we've been learning about when it comes to the DualSense uh, controller, I think a lot of people would be very, very interested to know, like, you know, what the feedback is right now for the actual controller. And so with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and let's dive right off into our next story here. And I think this is going to be uh, pretty good stuff for you guys. Okay, so it says that the PS5 DualSense positive feedback has sparked interest in haptics says immersion corp so this is pretty pretty good now let's go ahead and dive right off into this information here for you guys all right it says haptic is quickly emerging as one of the most innovative technologies for a improved user experience and consumer products and content as embodied in the sony ps5 dualsense controller which delivers the next level gaming experience now it says that we are thrilled with the success 
I'm sorry, we're thrilled with the successful launch of the PlayStation 5, of Sony PlayStation 5, and its transformation dual sense, I'm sorry, transformational dual sense controllers. It says, as previously shared, Sony Interactive Entertainment is an emergent licen uh, licensee, and the PlayStation 5 dual sense controllers utilize our technology, merging collective royalty from each other, I'm sorry, from each controller and we expect more than one controller will ship for the console over time to support multiplayer gaming and to replace worn out controllers so that's pretty pretty good considering what we've been hearing um you know about the dual sense controller saying that it's been worn out this yada 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 and you know and everything like that so let's hope that this actually you know replaces some things but Let's go ahead here and talk about the bottom portion it says we re received our first royalty report and revenue for the PS5 DualSense controllers in Q4. It was in line with our expectations and we continue to expect the platform and the controller to be very successful in the quarters and years ahead. It says that the positive market reception of the DualSense controller are catalyzed um, um, increased market interest in haptics, which we are seeing across the industry as well as in our customer partner engagements. So that is very, very interesting there. Obviously we've been hearing about this whole shenanigans um you know with the ps5 controller only lasting about 417 hours so i know some people are literally you know salty about that situation and this was um speaking during an earnings um call with investor smith who is the company in term ceo reflect on the successful launch of sony's new console and the positive effect that uh, the dual sense has had on the interest in the haptic technology in general. So that's very, very interesting there. And yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty hype. I'm pretty excited. All right. Now, now that we got the dual sense, obviously it's doing well as far as revenue, uh, for, for Sony and for obviously, uh, the company that actually, you know, made the, the haptic, uh, technology and everything. Now let's bleed over into this post-apocalypse horror title. And this is the title that I'm saying right now needs to be on PS5. It don't even need to be in the pipeline or anything like that. This post-apocalypse, uh, you know, um, horror title. I think you guys are going to love it. I don't know if you guys heard about this title. If not, we'll, we'll be able to show some gameplay on this for you guys because I know some of you guys probably want to see gameplay on this and y'all want to see exactly, you know, what's actually going on here. So we're going to dive right off into it for you guys. So basically, check this out. So here we go. Post-apocalyptic horror title the day before could come to ps5 so have you guys heard about a day before because the day before looks incredible it's on steam and i saw some gameplay like trailer there's not even a release date for it right now but it looks really 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 good like it's a it's a online you know sort of like zombie you know post-apocalypse type game and everything i mean i don't think you're gonna get a left for dead feel from this because it's sort of like third person but the game looks phenomenal so i don't know if you guys want to see the trailer for it but we're gonna go ahead and we are going to um dive right off into it hey damien butler thank you so much my guy Play has no limits. Enjoy your emotes. Go to the community tab of the channel where you will find access to all your perks, your emotes, and everything. Damien, add me on PlayStation. All of that is in the community tab on the channel. Thank you so much for sponsoring the channel. Play has no limits, baby. Let's go. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So let's go ahead and let's dive right off into this. It says, speaking during an interview with Game and Bolt, Ed uh, <clears throat> Asen, I'm not even going to pronounce the, the last name, the co-founders of Fantix um, touch based on a possible console version of the day before. And it sounds like something is in the pipeline. It says, we will not 
be able to port the game to your NES. I guess that's a joke, but we are considering the next gen consoles. The pair replied, wait for a special announcement. Yeah, that'd be crazy not to put this on PS5. Space, thank you so much for the $5, man. It says Marlin Gaming Nation is my home. Let's go, Space. Appreciate you, my guy. Thank you for being a sponsor. Thank you for holding it down. All right, so let me go ahead and show you guys the actual game here uh, because I'm pretty sure some of y'all probably wondering like what this game looked like, what this game play like, but I guarantee you, you're going to be blown away by how this game looks and how it plays um, and everything like that. And this could potentially come to PS5 because I'm like, bro, why you don't have this game on PlayStation 5? Like it looks that friggin' good. All right, so let me go ahead here and show you guys the actual trailer. Let me get this, this ad out the way, and then we're going to show you guys the actual trailer here. But yeah, this is a MMO survival type setup and everything. Hey, Jason, again, with the 99 cent showing a lot of love and support. So here we go. You guys ready? Here we go. Cut the music. Cut the music. Cut the music. All right, let's go ahead. Let's show you guys um, the actual game and everything it's pretty beefy so this game could potentially come to the playstation 5 and everything thank you so much jason for the 99 cent my guy appreciate you this is the game welcome to the short gameplay demonstration trailer for the day before an upcoming open world multiplayer survival game the Day Before features a huge, stunningly detailed post-apocalyptic world destroyed by a terrible virus. How much is the mic? Link is in the description to all of that. You see where it says, where it shows like my streaming gear? It's all listed down there. So go ahead and check it out. You need a mic for your PC? Yeah, check it out in the description, LNJ. I'll check it out in the description paper. where it shows you the okay. mic and it will click you and give you the price for it if you want to if you want to get my mic what do you guys think about the game so far i was sort of getting a like a, a division type vibe from this but it looks good right, just wait and right, see right. it looks really really good I man found a great cowboy hat tell her everything's oh right. you're a youtuber too lnj yeah cool man guns. yeah the mic well, is in the description geez, just cowboy. just below the donation thing it says get my streaming gear it's down below. My mic, computers, everything in the description. So, yeah, this game, um, the day before, is potentially, it's slated for PC right now, but it's coming, it could potentially be coming to consoles, PS5, and all that. But it looks really incredible. Maybe I can sell my junk there and get myself a better rifle. Let's find some fuel and go. In the survivor colony, and this is one of the best mics I've ever had since I've been doing YouTube. So, you want to get this LNJ. Look at this, guys. This game is crazy, bro. And this, all of this is happening in real time. Like, this is freaking crazy. All of this is happening in real time. Because I was like, wait a minute. The day before, you can enter abandoned buildings and take whatever you want. Here we go. Here we go. The main thing is to be careful because not all players are friendly. Here we go. Here we go. Let's pick up some supplies and get out of here. What do you guys think? This game looks good, man. Got company. Could use some help now. The things are about to get heated. Over here. Wow, it looks good. I told y'all, it looks. Look, oh, you all saw that explosion? You see how the fruits and everything just came up and everything? Yo, this is all in real time. This is multi. This is online. This is all in real time. Dude, there's too many of them. I, I gotta go upstairs. And they're talking okay, in real working. time, bro. This game looks good. The snowstorm is starting right now, and the temperature is falling fast. <laughs> Remember oh, that when wow, look at that fire, bro. Necessary noise. It can attract unwanted guests even more Fuck. terrifying than other players. Oh my god. And you got zombies coming after you. You got real people coming after you. The world of the day before is teeming with hungry hordes of bloodthirsty infected, 
ready to tear you to pieces. Bro, this game is gonna be crazy, bro. Whew, that was close. You should have seen this shit. It seems he dodged a bullet. Now he's crafting a bandage so he doesn't die from bleeding. Hey, are you upstairs already? <laughs> Dinner before tomorrow. The game looks good, man. I told y'all. Game looks really good. Y'all see that reflection? Inside Network, thank you for the follow, my guy. Them Twitch boys, baby. Let's go. Psst, where are you? The day before. It's supposed to be coming to PS5. It's on PC right now. There's no release date for it, but it's... It's... It's, um... It's coming to PS, uh, I'm sorry, PS5, potentially. But it looks incredible. Oh what? my God. Woo! The day before. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Let me know, man. Let me know. What do y'all think? Looks pretty good to me. Obviously, it, 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 it's probably going to put some people in mind of like, um, you know, division and all that type of stuff. It looks good. It looks good. Imagine playing that on PS5, you know, with the DualSense controller, um, with the 3D audio and everything like that. So it could be coming to PS5 and Series X and S. So I don't see why not. You know what I'm saying? But it's listed on Steam right now and everything, but there's no release date. There's literally no release date or anything like that. So... That's what we're dealing with right now. Uh, somebody vomit. <laughs> hey, y'all crazy, man. It looks good, though. It looks good. I guess it's not everybody's cup of tea, but it looks pretty good. You know, it says Marlon, you look uh, delay, bro. It says I like the, the audio. It's not. Yeah, I noticed that it's it's OBS, man. For some reason, it's OBS. That's how OBS is. I try to have it match up with with what with what i'm doing right now at the same time but it's kind of hard to gauge it but hey as long as you guys can hear me that's all that matters you know to me to, for the most part because it's obs that's how obs is and normally when you stream it's normally doesn't happen in real time it's normally like a second or two but yeah it looks the game looks pretty good all right so let's talk about dlss and you know with unreal engine 4 with the integration and all of that type of stuff with some really really cool stuff that i really wanted to share with you guys because i thought to myself like wow this is actually pretty dope um and you guys know that we're hearing about you know amd with their own what's it called um fx fidelity or something like that so which is very very interesting so we're going to talk about this um dlss support here for you guys and we know about sony you know trying to get this you know into the ps5 as well but here we go it says dlss support is accelerating after unreal engine 4 integration says nvidia so if you look at the chart here you can see the 3090 and you can look at some of these games and everything like that man it's it's crazy 114 you know fps and then it and it shoots out to almost 223 fps so from a, almost more than double you know what i'm saying like it just goes to show you the strength of you know dlss and everything like that and they're just showing off a demo here and all of that but here it is right here with dlss um you know off and dlss on so 60 um not even 60 59 almost 60 and then 118 with DLSS on. So you can see that DLSS is really, you know, come a long way as far as, you know, how everything is impacting the games and, you know, what developers can do, you know, with this, um, you know, particular, you know, upscale technology here because it's, it's super sampling and it's really, really amazing. You can see the results here, you know, on the 3090, again, 38 FPS and then, with dlss on it boosted up to 99.9 .9. so definitely more than double the fps and everything like that so yeah dlss i think is definitely going to be a huge thing not just for pc 
but also for developers and you know obviously for these next gen consoles you know what i'm saying it's definitely going to be a huge tool that i think a lot of developers are going to use to give you guys some really 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 good uh good stuff it says that the game which is due to launch on steam on march 25th also features ray traced uh reflections ray traced shadows and ray traced global elimination um optimized with the rtgi sdk with all of those features turned on alongside dlss the fabled woods will run at an average 56 frames per second on the th uh, the 3060 ti and well over 60 fps for stronger gpus in the rtx family so there you guys go i think this is the game right here so this is pretty good guys this is really 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 good that dlss is continuing to uh progress a whole lot and everything like that so let me know y'all thoughts and everything in the comment section and all of that all right now let's move on to the square enix event and i know some of you guys are literally hype right for this i did cover this before but i know a lot of you guys probably don't remember this event you know or remember that there's an event so for people who have generally like have no idea on what's going on square enix is going to be having their own little direct and you know it, it's it's exciting times when you hear about a you know game announcement or not even just a game announcement but a gaming event or something like that because it's like it's kind of dry for some people they're like hey we need a a, a new gaming event or something like that to kind of hold us over and so square enix is going to be live tomorrow showing off some square enix games and everything like that interestingly enough i don't know if we're gonna get i think it would be wise for them to show part two of final fantasy you know remake but i think they're probably going to show off final fantasy 7 remake for the ps5 tomorrow i mean we'll, we'll kind of see and everything like that but let's go over some of this stuff here for you guys just in case if you don't know so the first ever square enix present event aka a direct basically will take place on march 18th which is tomorrow the stream is scheduled to start at 10 a.m pst 10 i'm sorry 1 p.m est and 6 p.m bst and will be about 30 minutes long okay so the square enix event is going to be about 30 minutes long so get hype get excited about that that is definitely going to be very very interesting um to say the least and i'm going to be streaming it for you guys so the square enix event i'm going to be streaming it it's going to be 30 minutes long for you guys and can't wait can't wait to see what they're going to be showcasing over there obviously i know some people know that they're going to show off marvel avengers um they're going to talk about obviously the dlc for the game life is strange uh they might show like i said final fantasy might be there we'll see we'll definitely see uh, i will be nice to see final fantasy 16 you know what i'm saying for the ps5 in that 30 minutes because 30 minutes you can show off a ton of games you know what i'm saying within that 30 minutes of, of of time frame so like i said before those are some of the titles that you guys can expect um to to see tomorrow but your boy will be streaming it uh for you guys right here right here right here so you don't want to miss out on that yes so all right let's go uh, it says final fantasy will not be there oh well there you go there you go so <laughs> there you go so i'm guessing maybe the tomb raider 25th anniversary outriders yep let's count outriders i forgot about outriders so outriders marvel avengers tomb raider um and i guess just cause mobile balan world and new square enix montreal uh, montreal games we'll see and uh so supposedly a new world premiere hmm we'll see we'll see tomorrow i'll definitely be streaming it for you guys so we'll see all right now let's get on to our next topic at hand and this is some really really good news i'm pretty excited about this and it just goes to show you that hey Whenever a game is selling very, very well, you know it got to be a follow-up. It really, really got to be a follow-up. And I think this is one of the games, for a lot of people who don't have a PlayStation 5, who are looking to get a PS5, you need to add this game that we're gonna be talking about to your list of titles that is going to be, um, you know, uh, 
talked about and everything like that because you got to talk about some of these launch games and i know for some people they're like hey some of these launch games are really not that great and everything but that launch title for ps4 slash ps5 is miles morales okay but this is the ps5 version it said that spider-man miles morales scores its first number one as ps5 stock levels improved so this is pretty pretty good and i'm gonna go ahead and and show you guys it right now so miles morales right is number one right now okay for the, i think for the last week or so for two weeks it seems like uh miles morales is uh number one over super mario uh 3d which i'm kind of over 3d world which i'm kind of like surprised because 3d world that's mario you know what i'm saying but hey Miles Morales is doing extremely well right now. It said that Spider-Man Miles Morales has claimed the UK top spot for the first time um, since its launch in November. Now, although um, uh, it's available on PS4, the superhero game has become the PS5's best-selling launch title in terms of physical sales. Indeed, even if you remove the sales of the PS4 version this week, it would still have been number one the ps5 version accounted for 90 percent okay this is what i've been telling people 90 percent of the sales so people say oh it's on ps4 so you see that not because it's on ps4 and ps4 have a, a huger install base a lot of people are buying the ps5 version and i think this is what sony wants sony really really want people to buy the ps5 version of the game and because you know that's going to increase the playstation 5 install base and just goes to show you how many people are excited for the playstation 5 so this is pretty pretty good it says that the game's box sales increased 36 percent week on week as even more ps5 stock came into the market so that ps5 stock levels have improved significantly through february and early march so this is good that that you know people are getting their hands on ps5 sony is trying to meet demand because listen everybody really wants one one of these next generation systems especially the playstation 5 in this case and even though it's a six hour game even though people say it's a dlc it's still doing extremely well and i think a lot of people need to get hype i think a lot of people need to get excited about that particular situation um and it just goes to show you that insaniac um did a really really good job with miles morales uh but yeah so basically it's been doing great uh, because of the ps5 stock level you know have been improving from february and march although the console still immediately sells out every time more units arrive it says there are other games that benefit from the new ps5 stock including ubisoft's immortal um, Phoenix Rising, which rose 52% in sales, and it's an, um, at number 14. Meanwhile, Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate increased 203% in sales and re-enters the top 40 at number 18, also thanks to the PlayStation 5. So this is all benefiting of the PlayStation 5 sales and just on the PS5 itself. You know what I'm saying? All those games, even though they're third party. So once again, like these next generation systems really does impact the sales of these games and everything like that. I think a lot of people are kind of done with last gen for at least for the most part, even though a lot of people still have PS4s, but a lot of people just really want to move on to the next big thing. And so there we guys, there you guys go. I should say um, 10 free games is um for sony's play at home so 10 10 free games uh including horizon zero uh dawn complete edition ratchet and clank um which is already free already ratchet and clank 2016 um res infinite subnautica the witness um and astro bot rescue mission moss and tumper and um abzu enter the gungeon if i'm saying that correctly there so those are the 10 free games for ps5 and ps4 um so yeah th those are the titles right there all right guys so if you do have any questions or anything like that feel free to tag me at marlon gaming nation 
you guys are the real MVP. Thank you guys for the support. Best dope as we out here. We're grinding. We're getting it popping. Let's go, man. Let's go. We out here. Now, you guys have any questions for me? Feel free to drop it in the comment section. We're literally trying our best to do everything that we possibly can uh, as well. So let's go, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, I know some people are still trying to find Series X's as well. Uh, it's very, very hard to find Series X's. Are you guys going to get the Series X headset? Let's talk a little bit about this as well. Are you guys going to be getting this? Please go ahead and pick it up, man. Please go ahead. Get this headset. If you have, you know, an Xbox or anything like these headsets are really, really good. But if you have a Series X or anything like that, most definitely get this headset check out my review on the channel you know what i'm saying i know they're pretty much sold out but if you can find one for a hundred dollars they're really really good they sound really 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 good and i had a ball playing this um now compared to the pulse 3d headset like these sound really 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 good guys i'm not gonna lie to you guys like it, they sound really really good compared to the pulse 3d headset it's just that the pulse 3d headset have that 3d audio advantage but yeah this is one of the best headsets hands down from xbox like period so go check it out um xbox might get vr support i think they throw that out of the can bro they throw that out of the can um so we had a q a portion so if you guys have any questions it says do you know about gta online fast loading i heard that the last update that they did is like messing up the game for a lot of people it says are you aware of the console Pff, bro don't even pay attention to that it says xbox might get vr support yeah from what i heard they they're they're dismissing that right now uh, it says do they sound better than the sony's no in my opinion no but go to go to the channel though check out um the review that i did um you know yesterday i did a live review of it check it out on the channel and everything um no 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 running back no it's not i'll i'll let you know i'll let you know what what it is running back message me out on twitter running back and i'll i'll, I'll let you have it for xbox um let's say uh they sound better bro no they sound really good i'm never i never said that it don't sound really good it sound really really good but i feel like the pulse 3d headset because of that 3d audio it's like the bass and just like the mids and the highs and the lows sounds really good on the pulse 3d headset because of that 3d audio now as far as these are concerned they they sound really really good especially when you turn up the bass and you do a little bit of tweaking in the xbox accessory app yeah they sound really incredible i'm not discounting these and say they don't sound good but i feel like the pulse sounds a little bit better i'm not being biased that's just the, the the quality you know what i'm saying the build quality on these are really good as well really really good build quality over the pulse 3d headset and they're completely wireless whereas with the pulse 3d headset you need that little receiver thing if you lose that receiver thing then you're out of luck whereas with this you can just you know tap turn the button on on it and then sync it up to your series x and you're good to go from there so yeah as you guys can see it in the back right there it's right there in the back right there in the back i've been using it and everything so there you guys go um, let me actually bring this up a little bit. There we go. There we go. So you guys can see. Uh, it says Marlon Xbox need dual sense. Well, Phil said that. Phil did say that that they might implement um, that particular feature um, into Xbox controllers because they did. I did. They, I think they did a questionnaire or something like that. So uh, Damian Butler says, uh, "Do you believe it's worth getting 120 hertz refresh?" Okay, listen, Damian if you really want to know what tv i have and all my setup and all my gear link will be in the description and yes if you can afford 120 hertz tv get one because i'm telling you right now there's a few titles that really utilize 120 hertz on the playstation 5 and man it's, it's some beautiful results so yeah um link will be down in the description where it says get my streaming gear everything my whole setup link is in the description man for my tv that i use my 4k monitors all of that type vibe you feel me all of that is in the description um it says will walmart it says will walmart have ps5 soon i signed up for it i haven't heard anything about walmart but walmart is very very sketchy jose i think you had a question for me man i missed your question um 
says you should spend some time setting the headset up beforehand uh, well that's why i did it live because i opened it up out of the box and i did it live yesterday but then i did some little bit of tweaking um yesterday afterwards and it sounds really incredible it says hey marlon trying to upgrade from tier one to tier three having issues out on twitch uh, you talking about twitch refresh and try it again um it says that i decided to keep my ps5 for exclusives and vr2 there you go there you go so reason to get that uh it says any news about when 2.1 monitors are coming the last time i heard anything about it i think around the summertime um they should have something around this month though but the last time i heard it was like around the summertime a little bit before then um i think there's one or two hdmi 2.1 monitors out but they're very expensive Oh, you, oh, you're trying to do tier three, refresh it again and try it again, because sometimes they be glitching, but refresh and try it again, Jose, and see what's up. It says, have you tried the FPS boost on your Series X? I will be doing that on Saturday for you guys. Yes, PSVR 2 next year. Um, yes, I will be doing that for you guys um, this, this Saturday. You guys want that? Do you guys want a, a Series X stream where we kind of dive deep into the Series X and everything like that? Let me know. Ah, uh, for real? I'm sorry about that. Maybe I need to drop down to 720p. I don't know. Or maybe I need to try low latency. Maybe ultra low latency. It's already on low latency, but maybe I need to go down to ultra low latency or something like that. It says, didn't Phil say exclusives were bad? Hey, remember that? Yup. Yes, he did say that. Yes, he did say that what's the 10 free games the 10 free games is uh sony's play at home program um and it's going to be rolling out was it um next week or, i believe so it's called um abzu enter the gungeon um res infinite subnautica the witness astrobot rescue mission moz um and tumper and paper beast horizon zero dawn complete edition will be available for all players for free and it's for ps5 and ps4 says will you throw your ps5 away on saturday no i'm not gonna throw it away but i'll give you guys a three a, a, a series x blowout if you guys want that um let's see here it says i saw that the place where i ordered my ps5 the 9th of september got customers that ordered it in july today wow that's crazy um xbox stream cut the cringe hey got it hey ramon you got to show love to the xbox man you got listen xbox is doing great you know what i'm saying and listen we got the series x back there we got the new headset let's try out some of that stuff man let's try out some of them fps boost games um it says peace love i would want to add your gamer tag on playstation a sar sponsor up on 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 here sponsor up on here um that will get you access to my you know all my stuff you know what i'm saying discord um it'll get you access to my playstation id get you access to some really really good emotes as well uh get you access to talking to me one-on-one -on -one and everything like that so you can hit that join button you know what i'm saying that will get you access to all of that uh it says one online stranded in lines a hey, I, I feel you anthony moon it's crazy man it's a crazy type situation it says should i get a pc or a ps5 it all depends if you don't care about exclusives get you a pc simple as that he says marlon said xbox yeah xbox is on fire bro like i tell people if you don't care about exclusives get get you a pc i mean period i mean what's the point that, that don't make sense you know what i'm saying that literally does not make any sense so if you if you care if you don't care about exclusives get a pc listen i spent almost what four thousand dollars on my pc bill which like i said link is in the description go check it out all my pc bill parts is in the description and everything and i spend spend money on quality parts for my pc so it is what it is it says do you think sony will make special consoles for classic ps1 till ps i mean it, it's possible i don't see why not it's possible oh them special edition consoles is coming you just wait and see them special edition consoles is coming i'm not even buying nothing none of those 
you know updated stuff that they have right now you know d brand and all that i'm waiting for the actual sony license faceplate so i can swap out my faceplates and update my uh, and upgrade my ssd and everything it says can you play a little more longer on twitch i find it uh short okay if you guys make it worth my while i'll, I'll stay a little bit longer you guys must love it man you got time flies i try to tell you that time flies um space says yeah that gpu um having is going for thirty one hundred dollars i told you that's why i jumped on it really really quickly if you check out the link to the in the description of all the gears that i have and you do decide to get anything that i have bro i jumped on i got my 3090 for like what 1800 so a little bit above msrp but yeah collins do the xbox stream oh i will i will do it um it says do you think ps6 will be backwards compatible it's a possibility dallas it's a possibility i don't see why not i think they should you know what i'm saying i think they really 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 should you know move in that direction you know because i think playstation 6 i think should be that system where it plays every single thing ps1 ps2 ps3 ps4 and ps5 games all on the playstation 6 don't you guys agree i mean it's the sixth playstation console so i feel like they really 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 should go all out and make it fully backwards compatible not just the ps5 games but ps4 ps3 ps2 ps1 yeah because there's a market for that legacy you know what i'm saying what up what up ray what up what up man how you doing man thank you for the support my guy appreciate you um it says marlin uh playstation 5 pro is going to reveal in uh 2024 somewhere up in there ice queen what's going on thank you for that information anytime ice queen we out here you know what i'm saying good news uh fellow xbox gamers xbox won the console war here y'all go with that console war console war don't even need to be in existence man it's all love it's all gaming at the end of the day xbox literally gets no love when they are successful hey it's crazy man xbox is crushing it that's why i'm praising them right now they're doing great when you're doing good you're doing good for me you're gonna get praised you know what i'm saying you're gonna get all the kudos um jacob with the two dollars says ps5 might be able uh to even do that yeah i uh, true true that jacob true thank you for the for the two dollars facts man uh let's see here it says should i buy the sony xbr 900h for hdmi 2.1 and um, 120 fps or sony okay do you want to know the tv that i use kang do you want to do you want to have the same tv that i have because the tv that i have is one of the best tvs that you can get that money can buy link is in the description where it shows you the tv the oled tv that i use you know what i'm saying go check it out for yourself see if there's something that you can afford listen i'm telling you right now nothing compares to the tv that i have right now thoughts on re8 buying it day one streaming it possibly giveaway look i'm streaming it both on twitch i'm streaming it on youtube as well so we're gonna have different segments but like i'm gonna have like two separate playthroughs and we're gonna continue uh playing it on here on on youtube and then we're gonna have another play session on on twitch as well so yeah for them twitch boys we out here man it says you playing outriders day one on xbox or ps5 uh well i got game pass so i'm playing it day one day one on xbox and i don't have to buy it so <laughs> i you know i have game pass what up sylvester what's going on man appreciate the love and the support all i need is a pc so i can start streaming oh i thought you already bought that pc man says marlon what's the best picture mode to use on a oled tv actually to be honest with you man i just use the default you know what i'm saying i just use the default setting but you can go in there and um you can mess with some of the settings and everything i wish i could show you my tv right now but um it's kind of far far in the back but i just use the default settings you know what i'm saying because most of the other settings is either too oversaturated you know what i'm saying like vivid like vivid you don't want to use vivid because it's just too freaking bright um but i use the default settings that that's just on there and then make like just a little bit of minor tweaks here and there um jacob with the two dollars thank you says and no ps6 
won't be all digital it will be like ps5 i don't think they're gonna do all digital because people are gonna go crazy bro what about those people with ps4 games physical ps4 games what about those people with physical ps5 games they're gonna be mad you know what i'm saying you always got to cater to both sides of the fence cater to, to to digital people and cater to physical people i'm just saying anything on tales of arise uh that game is quite nothing i've heard about that game you know as of right now um says now nah, i've been trying to find one pre-built and i'm saying yeah yeah listen them pre-builds right now are like sold out considering that it's it's stimulus check time people got that moolah so they spending all that bread you know what i'm saying and everything so it's kind of crazy it says do you watch a live mortal kombat 11 tournaments no not on youtube because of how youtube is with mortal kombat content like it's crazy you know what i'm saying but uh, but yeah i love mortal kombat though it says if consoles go all digital it will be done with game bruh a lot of people will be upset uh it says marlon can you show your tv um settings on your twitch stream possibly i could possibly do that um i could possibly do that like i said check out you want to know my gaming gear and everything that i use the tv the the, the 4k monitors the, the different model numbers everything is in the description go check it out if you want to cop cop one and everything like that it does help the channel out so appreciate y'all says marlon what time are you going to be streaming on twitch today you y'all hype for that twitch stream huh y'all hype for that twitch stream i'm planning on hitting it at 5 15 just give myself a little bit of wiggle room after this stream you know what i'm saying kind of get up walk around you know chop it up with the fams and then start streaming again and we're gonna we're gonna continue with um neo i don't know i think you guys were enjoying neo um so we got neo one and two so unless you guys might want something else but i spent 70 dollars on this joint um so yeah man and, and like i said only subscribers can decide what we play so that's why i said it's very important that you become a subscriber you know what i'm saying of the of our twitch and everything like that and uh twitch is just amazing like i said before we're doing we're doing great over there so god bless um let's see here i know we got some more questions coming in rolling in let's see what we got <clears throat> uh jacob says starfield coming to ps5 according to hip-hop gamer yeah that's what he was saying that's what he was saying you know what i'm saying like that's what he was saying and i was like mm, we'll see you know what i'm saying he said that it was listed for i don't know let me look it up let me look it up for myself starfield that's but that's the homie though man hip-hop is the homie starfield um war appreciate the love and the support man thank you uh let's see here let's see here uh let's see here okay it says starfield now belongs to xbox e3 2018 I don't know I, I really don't i can't really i'm trying to see if it was listed for ps5 and or you know ps4 or whatever i'm trying to see wait it don't even show you what system on that teaser trailer it don't even show you what system it does show starfield and that's it i don't know but we'll see though you know we'll see um i don't work twitch <laughs> uh let's see here it says i sent you a picture of the pc i'm getting okay i'll take a look at it, it says i don't believe anything hip-hop gamer says dudes a liar and a hype oh lord have mercy yeah hip-hop is the homie man i've been knowing hip-hop for years dude like i mean since 2006 and you know he knows a lot of people in the industry man he knows a lot of people in the industry interview a lot of people he talked to a lot of people i had him on the channel but you know before the ps5 came out and everything and it was pretty dope it was really really dope so uh let's see here it says i have the qled q60 t55 boy you got that that sound like an expensive tv man uh, it says, Marlon, I believe this gen will be the last gen 
that will use this tray ever which is sad to be honest man i hope not bruh don't say that man i finally get to finish uh marvel avengers because of the next gen update tomorrow really yeah i haven't even bought that game to be honest i haven't even bought that game it says he said that the ps5 will be full backwards compatible uh yeah i remember that it says who's your favorite rapper um i would say nf and i would say juice world it says do you know a good laptop with a 3090 a 30 a lap a good laptop with 3090 i would say if you were gonna go with anything that to that extreme i would say we'll get an alienware but i think there's an alienware the alienware laptops i think are some of the best laptops and the msi laptops as well but a 3090 laptop bro is gonna be expensive uh jacob bell uh with uh, bali with the two dollars says i still think ps5 will have full backwards compatibility via the cloud i would say via the cloud um via the cloud a 3090 laptop is going to be very very pricey my guy like i'm not even going to hold you up right now even the desktops are very expensive i don't even think that i think it's only just 3080 i think they only just have 3080s um in laptops i don't think they have 3090s if they do it's going to be pretty expensive because i know the last last variant yeah it's only 3080s right now 3080s and 2080 supers right now yeah as far as i know because a 3090 laptop is going to be expensive dude i mean you're going to spend a lot of freaking money like you're you it's not going to be cheap right now um let me see here it says which is the best laptop for rtx okay let me see let me see 3090 gpu yeah yeah that and and then here's the thing putting a 3090 in a laptop bro that that thing is gonna be overheating all the time you know what i'm saying probably about five or six grand you're looking at for a laptop you know what i'm saying with with a 3090 because a 3090 is, is is a beast of a card it says what time you stream in i'm gonna start streaming around 12 tomorrow because it starts at one so i'll try to start streaming early to kind of get people hyped for it um lecrae uh, what, what what's lecrae is that a laptop company i never heard of them before hold on what's this oh uh lecrae oh the rapper um i never listened to him before i thought it i thought we were talking about laptops i was like wait a minute never heard of uh lecrae before yo mia what's going on man welcome aboard yeah about yeah about five to six grand it's gonna be expensive bro and you don't need a 3090 dog if you're not really doing serious work then you don't need a third oh he's a christian rapper okay i'll check him out um yeah you don't need a 3090 if you're doing if you if you're just doing gaming you don't need a 3090 a 3080 is just fine even though you can get away with a 3070 as well because most people don't game in 4k they game at 1440p on pc sorry um let's see here there's games that perform perform better on series x there's games that perform better on ps5 when developers actually take advantage of the hardware let's bring that up uh yeah of course of course most definitely and that's what i've been telling people it's not about t flops it's not about all this compute units and everything like that it really comes down to how the developer is going to fully utilize you know what i'm saying like the hardware to its fullest potential and everything like that so that's really and it's going to be interesting because that's why i said this is going to be one of the best year for gaming because it's going to be interesting to see how developers fully utilize you know what i'm saying the hardwares that they have in front of them you know the series x and of course ps5 uh best monitor is uh ben benq is pretty good i was approached by a company um a pr that handles some stuff for benq but they're trying to get me to review a, a 1080p monitor and i don't think you guys are going to be interested in me reviewing a 1080p monitor like i don't mm -mm.
Yeah, I don't think you guys will be interested in me, you know what I'm saying, do, doing a review for a 1080p monitor for PS5. I think it's what, 1080p, 120 FPS. They want to send it to me for a review and then I got to send the monitor back. But why go through all that hassle when most of you guys you know what i'm saying really want to see a 4k monitor like you guys really want 4k 2.1 basically um it says i heard that gta 6 would have vr support in 2018 nah mm -mm. i mean anything is possible but i haven't heard anything regarding vr it says marlin tier 3 is not showing up on twitch it only showing tier 1 what are you serious Hold up. Why? Are you kidding me right now? Bruh, that's, listen, that's crazy. Why not? Um, that's, that's, that's nuts, man. That is nuts because it's supposed to, you know, let you guys know exactly what's going on there. Like that, that don't even make sense. Why is tier three not working? I mean, I don't know why. I mean, what about tier two? Hey, the cool moon says, I think game developers, what's up? What's up, Billy? Um, truly need to take the, um, their time. Facts, bro. That way games can come out a lot better uh than anything we can imagine facts facts and fully take advantage of the hardware most definitely ps5 scalper with the one dollar thank you so much my guy appreciate you yeah for twitch they're saying that tier three is not working i don't understand why it's not working um i understand why hey billy do you have do you have a series x? i don't i know you don't have a series x but these headphones just came out man um just wanted to bring that bring it to your attention uh the new xbox headphones wireless they're completely wireless they work with series s and they work with series x they're completely wireless go check them out man go check them out they sound really incredible for the price of a hundred dollars if you can find one scoop it up completely wireless get it um yeah, I don't understand why it's not it's not it's not working. I don't understand what's what's going on. He said he gave you corner uh, corner store money. Hey, I'm happy with that. I'm I'm completely happy. Actually, I'm only getting seventy five cents, maybe uh, maybe seventy cents out of out of that. I'm only getting seventy cents out of that one dollar because you know YouTube they um youtube they take they take um a, a 30 percent. so there you go <laughs> um hey hey 70 cents man you know what you could do with 70 cents bro shoot you can do a lot with 70 cents I'll tell you that uh you gonna check them out yeah check them out billy they i think they're pretty much sold out everywhere but hey man listen <laughs> i'm telling you you know a hundred dollars they sound really 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 good yeah man youtube you see like everything like people don't understand when you get super chats they take 30 percent of that you know what i'm saying but like i said money is money at the end of the day and i am appreciative because it helps the show to keep going you know what i'm saying it, it keep us going and stuff like that helps me to buy things like this and review it on the channel for you guys so you guys can get more value and stuff so um it says i'll donate a hundred dollar next saturday hey orange jay i appreciate you my guy appreciate you man blessings thank you it says you could buy 20 copies of death stranding for 20 cents hey there you go like i said you can't knock you can't knock 70 cents bro money is money you can get a bubble gum with 70 cents you feel me um jim 26 wait 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 it says what's a good laptop for professional streaming and multitasking workflow I would say it really comes down. It's not just so much the laptop, it's the processor. And if you're really going to do like multitasking, I would say an i7 or an i9 would be good. But I would say as far as performance, I would say those Alienware laptops. If you go to Dell, their laptops are really, really, really good. And MSI as well. Those are like my two top favorite laptops, like MSI and Alienware. I do have an Alienware laptop. That's probably why I didn't list it in my PC setup in the description. But it says, yo give him bubblegum money <laughs> hey i uh, i watched your previous stream today 
uh, review in the Xbox wire, uh, wireless while I was doing cardio. Um, and let me tell you, 60 minute cardio felt like five minutes. Cheers. Hey, thank you so much, man. I try to do the best I can. Obviously, I opened the box and everything like that. So it was just my experience was your experience, you know, taking it out of the box for the first time. But I highly recommend these headphones. They sound really, really incredible um, for the price. I mean, you know, they're completely wireless. They're very, very lightweight, very, very good adjustable um, portions and everything like that. Favorite type of sandwich? I love tuna. Uh, tuna sandwiches are pretty good. I uh, says, I uh, says, you are the best gaming nation that ever exists, and I will, I will ever live. Facts. Hey, Jacob, appreciate that, man. Trying, trying. We trying, man. Says Marlon, could you just buy a chocolate bar over here for a, a 70 cents? I, I told you, you could do a lot with 70 cents. People thinking I'm joking. 70 cents is a lot. <sighs> or a Ryzen. If you if you you know, I know some people don't really like AMD, but yeah, you can get you can get away with um even last generation Ryzen processor. You can get away with a 39, what's it a 3950X? That's a very good processor. Or you could go with the new Ryzen processors right now. 5950X is a, is a over yeah, it's overboard, bro. You don't need a 5950X. Is Neo remastered good? running at 4k yes it runs at 4k 120 fps this is what we're streaming out on twitch and i just bought it yesterday and let me tell you something man the game is phenomenal i'm not gonna hold y'all up it's it's really 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 good game you know what i'm saying this is what we've been streaming yesterday we were having a a, a blast and everything like that and uh this is one of the newer games that came out for ps5 so yeah i got it uh razor or alienware i think razor is just overpriced bro just overpriced you know what i'm saying they make some good stuff but they, most of their stuff is just overpriced using my stimulus to buy my ps5s hey let's go man use up that stimulus man in a in a good positive way you know what i'm saying a loon 781 what's up man it says marlin just tuning in what's good hey loon we out here man we grinding bro we're gonna be on twitch a little later you know what I'm saying? Around, say, about 5.15. So make sure, make sure, make sure that you are um, subscribed and following me on Twitch. I don't know why Twitch, the, the Twitch tiers are not working. I don't know what's going on with tier three because I think tier three should be working on Twitch. Uh, might have to do some digging and see what's going on with that. But um, I think the tiers should be working just fine. Let me see something because yeah make sure y'all follow me on twitch man um because your boy your boy is going to be doing a stream later on and y'all don't want to miss out on that hold on hold on twitch let me trying to get to twitch real quick so so i can check out because y'all saying tier three is not working i don't know why that's the case though let me see let me see why that's the case. Um, I did set up my timers as well. All right, back so at it again. Streaming on Twitch. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here it is right here. So why is tier three not working right here? I mean, it's right here, guys. Check this out. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold up. My fault. My fault. Look at this. Look at this. That's it right there. So you tier one is $5. All right, so that's tier one. And then tier two is $10. And then tier three. So you can subscribe. It's right here. It's all right here. You know what I'm saying? It's all right here. So I don't understand, you know, what people are saying when they say they don't see it. But tier three subscription is $24.99. Tier two is 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 um is uh ten dollars. And uh tier one is five dollars. So you know what I'm saying? Make sure you guys subscribe um, and everything like that. Check it out. You know, really, really cool perks for being a subscriber. You get to decide what I play. Obviously, you get access to my friends list and all that type of really, really cool stuff. So make sure you follow me out on Twitch, man. Marlin Gaming Nation. Let's go. Let's get it. Um, Yeah. Hey, Sing Sing, what's going on? Appreciate the love and the support. It says, after four months, you still hype for PS5. 
um games to come out of course man hey what's going on g2g says yeah hey i feel you g2g i got you hey 99 cents goes a far way even tier two says i see your subs count didn't budge uh didn't didn't, didn't bulge get hype hey get hype man uh let me check yeah yeah go ahead go ahead and 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 check it out when you go to the when you go to the twitch channel click the drop down right here let me show you guys let me show you guys this is how i was able to see it because i think some people are getting confused on what's going on but right here you see right here where, where i click down on the subscribe button you click down on it and then it will let you subscribe you know what i'm saying from there so you click the subscribe button and then it, and it should show you like tier three tier two tier one whatever and or you can sign up with prime whichever one so that's that's how you do it ah uh, it says angry joe got an 80 inch tv from sponsorship from vizio i wish i wish i could get sponsored by um by a company or something like that for a tv or lg i wish lg could sponsor me um but only time will tell though we just got to keep grinding i love the odyssey g5 27 um 27 inch okay that's dope man um that's really really dope let's see here it says i'm gonna spend my stimulus on my pc bill and some things at my setup um also get some clothes and such hey of, of course bro hey samurai if you're trying to build your pc bro link is in the description you see what i'm saying if you want to have the same specs pc if you want to know what i use for my pc bill and stuff if you want to go off of that if you want to purchase some stuff you know go ahead and and um go ahead and 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 go from there you know what i'm saying if you if you want to you know what i'm saying link is in the description where it says get my streaming gear and you can go and and decide from there if you want to build a pc off of what i use if you want to get your streams crisp if you want to game at high you know frame rates and stuff you don't have to get a 39 you could get a 3080 or a 3070 you know what i'm saying depending on your play style and what have you joseph what's going on peter apples with the 149 thank you so much my guy i appreciate that i appreciate that one loving god bless man let's go uh it says um do on website i don't know if phone have breakdown or what okay okay so try to do it on the website and see uh it says we are your sponsors marlon facts bro appreciate you man appreciate you uh, i says i am going to spend my stimulus money on a ps5 hey let's go man hey get you that ps5 man i have a 50 inch 4k um vizio it's so good hey that homie king mo hey vizio is a good man uh the ender says um yo bro i always check in your channel i may not agree with all of your opinions but um have love your channel uh love for your channel go bro hey appreciate the love man thank you that's what it's all about man everybody has an opinion you do you agree or you disagree but it's all love man it's all love that's what make us unique as humans you know what i'm saying it says which games should be made into movie and which movie made the best game <sighs> that's pretty tough man because i think a lot of like spider-man for example is perfect movie and game you know what i'm saying um i mean obviously a lot of there's a lot of fail attempts i will tell you that right now off the rip like this uncharted movie we'll see as time progress um it says my guy stream um at blow uh, at both a platform you're the goat i try i try you know what i'm saying i try i try to give you all that energy he said marlon save some energy for twitch i got y'all man i gotta show my youtube people some love man it says hey marlon are they gonna send a credit card on stimulus again this week in the mail um well did you did you sign i mean you should get it on your credit card not your credit card but your debit card your bank account whatever you use to file your taxes with and stuff like that you should get it on that or you if you sign up for to get it you know via mail then it might, i would recommend you signing up for mail because it's going to take a long time it says i have a dslr camera but i will use a logitech brio cam since it's more it says i uh so i will get it through your link hey samurai appreciate that man thank you for supporting your boy um because anything that you guys purchase through that link with my streaming gear and all that it helps the channel out so 
I appreciate y'all, man. I really do appreciate it because times is really rough right now. And, you know, like I said before, you got to maximize yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, it says, how do you keep these games on your PS5? Just delete. I rotate. I, I Yeah, obviously, yes, I do delete and everything. So, yeah, most definitely. Depending, I, I delete the stuff that I'm that I already beat and I'm not playing anymore and things like that. Um, around five i'm gonna say you know what i'm i'm gonna I'm I'm shoot for 5 30 5 30 we're gonna aim for 5 30 for the stream okay 5 30 so we're gonna give you guys about 30 more minutes and stuff like that to get your refreshments i'm gonna get up and walk around i've been sitting in this chair for like two plus hours so i'm gonna get up walk around and all that uh it says marlon you gonna watch the justice league and falcon win it yeah most definitely it says we need at least one terabyte drive by sony yeah of course it's gonna be like two terabyte ssds i'm pretty sure uh darn it says we lit all right so i appreciate y'all man as always you guys are literally amazing you guys show a lot of love and support to the channel and everything like that and like i said before we lit out here all right so on that note, I'm going to go ahead, get me something to eat and get ready for the next 30 minutes or so to, to, to stream on Twitch and everything like that. Make sure, make sure you guys are ready uh, for, for our Twitch. If you haven't followed me on Twitch, it's going to be at the top of the, the chat and everything like that. And um, go, go over there, follow me, subscribe over there. You know what I'm saying? Show, show the Twitch um, boys some love and everything like that. I love y'all. Any tips for good gaming food? I heard you a chef. Good gaming food. I would say fish because it has a lot of protein in it. A lot of fit, a fish and a lot of vegetables. All right. Says, I uh, says what you have, Marlon, the I nine nine. Actually, no, I have. Well, I have the, um, the 10, eight K. That's what I have. All right, stay, stay safe, guys. Much love to y'all. Catch y'all on Twitch around 5.30 EST, all right? One love and God bless. Peace. We out of here. Love y'all, man. Be easy. Peace.